This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash Skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. All right, it's my first shore-based trip uh, back on my northern waters, and uh, oh, it's uh, quite a difference in air temperatures. It's like 49 degrees, and it's like uh, drizzling, and it's blowing, and yeah, when I left Florida, it was like mid 80s, so uh, it's quite a difference. But hey, gonna get right into it, and uh, gonna be throwing bucktails the whole time. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna run 49 minutes, uh, pretty much from the beginning of this trip, and gonna run it straight. There you go. And I'm not gonna edit out anything. Um, I will speed up sections so that the video length isn't so long. But this is gonna be a 49 minute stretch. You, you're gonna see everything I see, and I'm gonna talk through um, some decisions I made here and um, actually one mistake I think I made but um, yeah let's uh, let this play through hey these fish are gonna start off real small I'm, I'm happy to get this this is you know my first bass of the season so our uh, first shore based bass of the season um, it's a little one and they're gonna get bigger from this point which is kind of odd because um, this is in the morning you know it's working uh, usually as you work away from daybreak, if anything, the fish are going to get smaller, but that's not the case this trip. But like I said, 55 degree water, it's cold. Um, it's, it's eastern Long Island, and uh, you know these fish, uh, we don't really have the larger ones out here to any extent at the point that this trip was made. All right, I've got canal or a channel structure, and I have an uh, increasing... Uh, outgoing current so the current speed is going to be increasing um, as I go into the trip and actually that's going to be pretty significant um, with with how this trip plays out all right and uh, this is about eight feet of water and it's the first time that I'm bucktailing the stretch of shoreline and that's going to play into this one uh, kind of like mistake I'm going to make here uh, yeah it doesn't look like a mistake so far and that's part of it is uh, all right I've started with a one ounce bucktail it's an S&S &S John Skinner bass bucktail, the one with the feathers on it, fixed hook. Um, and right off the bat, boom, boom, I'm hitting fish. And yeah, they're, they're small. They'll, they'll get better. But hey, this is the kind of size that you know, happens in the springtime, too, and the uh, first fish of the season. The trailer on this uh, is the split tail straight uh, otter tail strip. And uh, five inch or five and a half inch, whatever size that is. Uh, so basically, I'm casting, letting it settle just a little bit, slow retrieve. I'm going to get a look at the retrieve in a bit. Um, and yeah, it looks like I'm dialed in here. It's three on three casts. That was a little better. Yeah, so one of the focuses of this video is when do you change lures? When do you make a change? Well, certainly three on three casts, you're not going to make a change, but well, when do you? And uh, yeah, so we're going to get to that. And you know, what, what I'm going to say is obviously applying to this trip, but it's not just for bucktails, it's for any lures, and you've got to make that decision. Um, and it's all relative to how the trip is going, you know. I mean, some days uh, you might be getting a lot of fish, and then if you have even a little lull of a few casts, well, you should make a change. And, um, yeah, so that's going to be addressed here. Okay, three on three casts, and I'm going to blow through these next three casts in which I don't hook up um, and then pick it up from there. And it may look like I'm doing the same thing over and over again. I'm, I'm really not. Um, on these casts where I'm not catching, I'm varying the cast a little bit, you know, hitting different targets on the cast, trying to work over slightly different water. I mean, yeah, when I'm getting fish, y you know, uh, on consecutive casts, yeah, I'm trying to pound that. But um, if I don't get hit, then I'm, I'm going to make a little adjustments and uh, try to cover slightly different pieces of water with the cast.
this hook has the slightest nub of a barb on there, and it's still a little difficult to get out of this fish. Um, but it's, it's right in the mouth. So uh, the, the barb is crushed down, and you can see most of the fish are going to come right off. Yeah, I know it doesn't show on video, but most of these fish have sea lice on them, so they are uh, pretty fresh from the ocean. They're not, uh, you know, maybe a couple of the smaller ones are holdovers, but uh, yeah, these, uh, these are just rolled into these local waters. Okay, so this is a stretch of five casts without a fish. Uh, and I saw like one hook set in there, but um, well, you know, come on, I, I had a couple streaks there, three fish in a row. Uh, this is where I think I, I should have made a change, but all right, so I just saw that hook set. Um, the, you know, with the issue with the increasing current speed is that that bucktail could be lifting up out of that near bottom strike zone. You want to work that jig uh, within a couple of feet of the bottom uh, and um, you know, maybe it's starting to blow up a little high. You know, it's sure, it's easy after the fact to look back at the video and say, yeah, I should have done this or that. But that's pretty much what I'm doing is I'm looking at this going, why didn't I change jigs after five casts? Well, you know, because, yeah, then the hitting resumed. But I'm going to be able to show you that I should have made a change. And that's one of the fun challenges of fishing a place with a lot of current is that that current speed changes. So what is working at one point of the trip uh, soon might not be working and, and vice versa.
by the way, you'll see me straightening out these strips after many fish. What you do not see me doing is changing the strip. Um, if you double hook these, they hold up very well and they stay on. All right, so it's five casts uh, without a fish. Yeah, you know, part of it is knowing what I know now about bucktailing the spot. Uh, I, I definitely would make a lure change a little faster, but geez, you know, five casts isn't really that long to go without a fish, and then right about the time I think uh, maybe I should change, boom, you know, start hitting fish again. Uh, so, uh, by the way, this this is a weather-driven action here because. It's snotty, nasty. This is really nice striper weather. The next day was beautiful, and the fishing was just awful. So, uh, yeah, the, these days, uh, get this kind of weather, a lot of times uh, you get good fishing goes along with it.
Oh, this is finally what it takes. Uh, gonna be six casts without a fish, and uh, then I'm gonna switch over to it's an SNS John Skinner fixed hook fluke bucktail ounce and a half. Now that bucktail uh, doesn't have the feathers and uh, it's got that narrower profile. In fact, it's the what I used on the thumbnail for this video. And uh, plus I've got links in the video description. You can look at all of this gear. But that narrower head is going to get down deeper, easier. Plus I'm going from an ounce to an ounce and a half. So I'm doing a couple of things there to get the jig deeper. Because you know I can just feel that this current is accelerating. Um, and, you know, I'm going through six casts without a fish on a, a morning like this when it's going so well. Um, yeah, I, I need to do something to stay down, uh, get down deeper, stay down there, uh, get in that strike zone, stay in the strike zone. So I'm going to go ahead and make that change. And, uh, yeah, then I'm going to wish I had made the change earlier.
Okay, so in the seven casts that I made after changing bucktails, I will have landed six fish. On the one cast where I didn't land a fish, I had two hits. Uh, so that makes me think about those stretches where I went five, six casts without a fish. Yeah, I could have been catching at that time. Um, but you know what? That's just part of the learning game when you're on different waters. And uh, you know, next time I'll know better. Um, and you know, the, the problem, it wasn't a problem, but the reason I stayed with the lures, I, I've been doing pretty well. And this was, uh, I counted 19 fish in this 49 minute stretch. So yeah, I felt like I was doing well and didn't need to change. But uh, the question I'm always asking myself is, could I be doing better? And the answer here was, yeah, I, I should have changed bucktails earlier. But hey, that's the fun of fishing. I'm always, always learning. So all right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, Please subscribe and hit that notification bell and check out my new bucktail course at saltstrong.com slash Skinner.